All right, so let's um, do something with cameras. First, I want to show you all this. If I go to my render view, let's go to my, you choose your camera right here, object cam one, and I do a render. I added some more lights in. I just forgot how it looked. Okay. Yeah, because remember I made the wall like denim or something like that. So I just added in some extra lights, which is what you see right here. Well, actually, let me get inside of my camera, camera one. So this is the scene view. This is this view. And if you want to see uh, this, like, at its natural resolution, you click on this and click on this home button. All right, and real quick, if you want to disable lights, remember this geo right here, this is where like all our action is inside of this uh, one node for our, our street scene. But now we have our lights. You don't dive into the light. I mean, you can if you want to, but it's got a bunch of stuff that not even I understand, right? So, um, yeah, if I want to disable these, I can just click on the display flag and now they're off. All right, but let's just see one by itself just to see. Go to render view. a snapshot of this render. Hmm, I'm actually kind of surprised. Nah, there's no change. Why is there no change? Oh, okay, I need to disable. So select them. Yeah, the display flag just takes away the display. So I need to click on enable. Now it's just showing me the one. And then of course I can go in here and mess with this. So now it's kind of like, um, only I just don't have the viewport open or the scene view, but it works kind of like Arnold does. Well, anyway, um, let me stop this. What I like to see is a something called a flip book, and we're going to render this. So this is what the next step is. Um, let me get inside of my camera. Well, I might as well just make another one. Well, I'll keep that. And I'll make a new one. So right now I'm in perspective view. We can see because it says perspective right here. If I click on this, um, we have our different views. So the right view, these are all the orthographics. So space one, space two, space three, space four, space five is UV, you know, space six is nothing. Um, and then right here is where we can select our camera. So this is the camera one and there's that camera. I think if I want this icon larger. Yeah, right here, icon scale. And I don't think the scale affects anything because just for visualization purposes. All right, so if I want to make a new camera, if I click on camera, it gives me this right here. So I can like place the camera anywhere I want, which is fine, but I don't think it's uh. I don't think it's particularly cool, right? So I would say the best way is to get in a view you like. So let's say I, I'm loving this right here. I hold down control, click on camera. I mean, left click on camera. Now I'm inside of my camera. Now here's the thing that is gonna probably twist some of y'all up, right? If I move right now, I'm out of the camera. So I just moved, I'm not in it anymore. 
But what if I wanted to like move the camera with, you know, like I'm moving now, like I'm inside of the camera. Let me click on this. I'm going to go back to my camera too, right? And I'm going to click on this lock right here. If I left click on it, now when I move, I'm inside my camera. See, I'm on camera two, it's locked in, and I'm moving. Now you have these controls over here. This is a uh, zoom. So click it like this, zooming in and out. If I click on this, this is like a pan. So middle mouse button click. But instead of doing that, it's just doing it, you know, the camera controls. And I actually like these for setting up. So left to right, top to bottom, back, back and forth. Then we have this one right here, which rotates it. So it's like almost like tilting your head from, uh, it's like from looking at the floor to looking at the ceiling. So that's how that one's working. And this is turning your head from left to right. And this is like giving that little slight rotate, like tilting your head to the side, like you're confused or something. Yeah. And then up here, we also have controls. So you can like kind of middle mouse button click and go into these. But like, let's say if I wanted to go back to normal, like this one, go back to normal. Uh, just click right here. Whoa. You know what? Let's just zero out all those rotations. And then something else I'll also like to do is I like to click on this node and press space bar F. And that focuses in, focuses in on whatever object I choose. So since I clicked on that, I'm here, I'm still in the camera too. Yeah. And if I click back on the camera, then I get my controls back. So, so you'll see the controls once you select your camera and you're in your camera. You have to be in it and select it. And you have this. But like I said, you don't have to use this. You could also just use the regular controls and just set it up really nice. OK. So what if I want to have a play blast, like test the animation? Um, well, first, I guess I'll go into some animation. If I have my camera selected, So this is my render camera. Let's just give it another name. Um, there's two different ways we can do it. I often just come here and I um, alt right click. And what that does is that sets a keyframe. So it's kind of like in Maya when we right click on the channel box and set a key, it's like that. So I just set a key right here and here are the keys right here. So if I want to, um, and let's just say I'll make this 120, let's just say. I can click on 120. Now I can move this, move it. So let's say I'm, I'm here now. Let's zoom out just a touch. Perfect, right? So let's say I want it to be there. Ah, you know what I didn't do? I didn't click on the rotate either, all right? So that was my bad. Um, let me click back. Oh, where's my house? So let me go spacebar F, click on this. So to delete a keyframe, you can right click and you can go to, uh, well, the shortcut is this, Alt, Shift, left click. You can delete the keyframe. But I also think it's, oh yeah, it's right here. So if I want to set keyframe, see how this has the shortcut, Alt, left mouse button, or I can just click it here. So I'm clicking the Alt, left mouse button, or I can click on this. I rarely use this, 
But if I click on this, it'll set the keyframes for that. And then, so I set my keyframe, uh, let's just do 96, right? So now let's say I wanna go over here. So this would be cool if you're like, you know, side scrolling kind of thing. So let's say I wanna go over here now and zoom out. You know, go closer to the ground and I don't know, maybe look up. Okay, so let's say I like that. I'll click on this again. So now, ooh, there's some funky trends. Translations in there. All right, so yeah, that looks crazy. It shouldn't look that crazy. Oh, so since it looks crazy, that's a good thing, right? So let's delete these keyframes and we can do it over again. All you gotta do is if you click on this button right here with these green ticks, then it goes to the keyframe that you want it to go to. And then you could just right click and you can do delete keys, control Z, or you can do shift left click and scan over this and then let me see what happens if I press delete. Okay, it'll delete it that way too. But yeah, I'm really not feeling these. Uh, oh, that's an anim. You know, I accidentally did that. Shift left click. Hmm. Okay. This is our uh, animation editor. I didn't know that it opened up with shift and clicking. So I just learned that today. Hmm. But um. Yeah, let's delete all these. We'll hold down shift, left click, hold, delete all of these. I mean, scan all of these, press delete. I'll just keep it simple, right? So, what is happening? See, I'm having some kind of issue with this. If it's highlighted, that means something's going on. Uh, or no, there's an expression here. So let's just right click keyframes and like I said, we can delete it all by, let's just do control shift, left click and delete it all. So it's clean now, right? We have nothing here. Here, all left button click, all left button click. Let's put it on 96, move over here, turn it. And I'll zoom up, look down, look over. All right, so let's say I like this, Alt, left click, Alt, left click. I have no idea why that's happening. Don't know. But the good thing is we'll just delete that camera and make ourselves a new one. So just alt left click, get this. All right, I'll do it one more time. I really don't know why I was moving like that. So here. So we have a fresh camera, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, here, like this. Alt left click, left click. 96, move, rotate, alt, left click, left click. Yeah, I'm not sure why it gives that little wiggle like that. Let's go in here. 
let's just alt left click. It shouldn't happen, but uh, anyway, I'll figure out what that issue is. Um, but yeah, so let's say we, I want to take it here and I want to do a 96 frames just to see that animation. Well, one thing we can do is we can click on this left click. And this is our um, real time toggle. So this is what it looks like in real time. And I only have 96 frames, right? So let's make it to 96 frames. I'll just click on this and do 90. Well, actually, I can click there and do 96. Or I can click on this and type in 96 here. I'll type in 100. Yeah, it's 96. 96 and apply. Close. Now it's supposed to play. This thing wasn't stretched out. Let's press play. All right, so let's say this is what you're uh, looking at. But let's say if it was like slower, we had more things and we just wanted to get that timing right to look at it in a better way. We left click on this flip book when new settings. And this just means uh, the start of the frame. I mean, start of this and this means the end. So it's going to go to the start or the end. Or I could just put in one to 90 or whatever I want, right? Um, the rest of this, don't really worry about it. The resolution, you know, it's just important to know. I don't really change anything else. We just press start. And what it does is it takes a screenshot every uh, frame and then it stitches it together and makes a play blast. So I don't know if you all can see this, this extra uh, play blast screen this is what it would be. I had another version of Houdini open with the project, so that's why that was there. Um, but it should look like this. The only thing I'm seeing is the. Excuse me. The um. Oh, you can't see the. Oh, I'm okay. not seeing an extra play blast screen. Let me do this. Share screen. Uh, okay, so here it is. Yeah, there it is. Yep. So after you do the right click and do the play blast, it all comes in here. I actually like the little wiggle. Looks real like someone's walking, you know, even though it was unintentional. But I'll, uh, I'll look at that. I, I've never had, the, well, I guess I don't mess with the cameras so much in this program. But yeah, so what I want to do is get this in there. We're going to do this, and then we're going to uh, render it out. So we'd be rendering out an animation. But I want to be able to... The whole goal is to get it from Maya, or I guess it doesn't matter where you make your stuff, but let's just say Maya to Substance to Houdini so we can render. Because then after we're able to do that, we can do anything. I mean, anything. Um, 